Telecoms, the industry has been in a, a little bit of a crisis over the past two years. So in the second half of the 2000s, M&A activity really went down. It all has to do with the overall financial crisis. Now, in 2013, things have changed. And now it is early, early 2014, and every year, telecoms experts, um, managers, consultants, M&A experts and strategists, and obviously the bankers and corporate lawyers meet here at Telecom Finance Conference and discuss what has happened. It is really the meeting point early in the year to discuss what has happened in the last year and what does it mean for the 12 months looking forward. And you can really meet key players of the industry not only from Europe, not only from the UK. For example, Tim Knowles is here. He is head of M&A at Etisalat, um, Middle Eastern um, Telecoms Group. So that's just one example. We have uh, the commissioner of the New Mexican regulatory body here who will speak today on the regulatory panel. We have from Germany, um, from the German Federal Cartel Office, the head of telecoms. So it's really, it's a wide range of people we have here. Well, it's um, an exciting time, I think, in the telecoms industry generally because we uh, expect to see further consolidation. And uh, with all of that on the go, um, it's always nice to sort of be amongst peers and subject matter experts when, uh, when you can glean a little something um, through the network, the chatter, and, and the panel discussions. So I think that's why, uh, why I'm here today. Well, we believe that uh, London is the capital for, for investors, and uh, telecom finance is a very good forum for, for, for this. And as a matter of fact, uh, we also have the chance to talk with people from, from Ofcom, from the regulator, and it's also a very good chance to exchange some ideas. So it's a very good opportunity. You got to have a forum for getting together. It's efficient uh, for all of us who, who uh, take time, both in the audience and, and on panels, to try to get messages across. And usually early in the year, you've got fresh strategy for the year, and, uh, and investors have fresh ideas. and. Uh, maybe a fresh um, uh, fund that needs to be invested and so forth. So yeah, it makes a lot of sense in terms of timing and, and the kind of uh, combination of audience that you attract and panelists and speakers that you attract here. And it makes sense. There were a couple of very interesting views from different angles on, on the panel which I uh, uh, attended and uh, I think therefore to, to see a uh, from somebody like Vodafone or Liberty or from a, a regulator's view, that's interesting to see uh, how these people assess uh, market developments and therefore it's quite interesting to come here. I come here once a year, it allows me to catch up with everybody. Um, you've got a lot of the key decision makers in one place, so that, from that perspective it's quite useful. Talking about M&A is not going to get M&A done, but it's, it's useful to share ideas. Every year we do two different types of awards. We do a number of quantitative awards, that means those are based on league tables, and these awards go to the most successful telecoms banks of the year. And then we do a couple of deals of the year. So there we award the best telecoms transactions of the past 12 months. Credit Suisse won two awards, one of them more indirectly than the other one. So the first award that uh, Marissa drew, who is one of the co-heads of investment banking at Credit Suisse, um, picked up here tonight, was the loan award, Telecoms Loans 2013, where Credit Suisse was the most successful bank. But then she came again on stage when we actually announced our deal of the year, because um, our deal of the year for Europe is Liberty Global's acquisition of Virgin Media early last year and on this year Credit Suisse was heavily involved on the financing side so she came on stage twice. Congratulations to her really and her team.